Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I will be so glad when I can look at y'all's faces sitting in these benches instead of looking at a camera. Um, I had a little experience this week where I got to be among some of the children of God, and uh, we had the best time, Brother Brother. Just to get to be around them and get to talking to them, and me and Daddy took us a little drive up in Tennessee, and got to be around several of the good children of God, and and you talking about good? It was so oh, we're so proud to see one another, and it's going to be that way soon when we get to get back together. And you know, Brother Gwen and Brother Gary both talk like if if we don't never get to be together here again, we'll get to be together in heaven, mm -hmm. and. I, as they was talking about that a song I thought about it says if we never meet again but we'll meet just that side of heaven I want to go I want to go don't y'all but I would, my mind was running today uh, back when I was a little boy and I, I thought about you know uh, snow in this area is, is rare and I remember Brother when I was a little boy man a biggest old snow come and here I was excited. I was excited to get to go play in the snow. And before I could realize it, I was done out the door barefooted. Uh, and boy, man, man, mama about got all over me when she saw I was barefooted. Of course, she knowed I wasn't gonna stay long when I hit that snow. But I was just excited and went out unprepared. But from then on, mama always made sure she checked us that we were prepared for what we were going out to do. And that brought my mind back to something uh, uh, that the Lord said. He said, finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you might be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Tell God, we don't know what's ahead of us. But if we'll prepare for that that's out, and, and I don't know, I, as children of God, we have a uniform to wear. And it might not be the uniform that, that you see our, our, our military men wear or, or the firefighters or the policemen. But as a child of God, we've got a uniform that we have to wear. He said, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness in this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil days and having done all to stand. Stand therefore having your loins girt about with truth and having a breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparations of the gospel of peace and above all taking the shield of faith wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, praying always with prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplications for all saints. And children of God, if we'll, if we'll be prepared for that that we're going out into, we'll have on that right uniform the whole armor of God. And you say today, Brother Mike, uh, I think I do. How would I know if I've got it all there? Well, I tell you, I had a, 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 an experience here a couple of weeks ago and got called out on a new job to mow a lawn for a lady. And she said, I come highly recommended. And she sure was proud to hear that I got to come to her. Her house was on the side of the mountain over in Jones Valley. And, I, you know, when I looked at it, I thought, man, I, you know, I don't know if I really want to do this or not, but uh, I priced a woman, a, I thought, a good price to do the yard. And she walked me and told me what I, to do. And I, I felt like I'd done exactly what she wanted. And at the end, I found out if I had on the whole armor of God. I hadn't been belittled or wore out that bad. She said I cut her grass too little. She said I, I ran all of her lawn seed. Uh, I just, oh, she just went on and on and on. And, I, and 
At that point, you know the first thing that arises when something like that happens? Your natural self. Yeah, the, flesh. the flesh rises. And, and you know, at that moment, I'll back up a, a day or two. Brother Gwendo called me. And he said, Brother Mike, I just got one word on my mind. And he said, would you call out to the children of God and just tell them charity? I said, okay. And I said, I'll, if you don't mind, I'll tell everybody read 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians. And I got up, I believe it was the next morning, and I opened up my Bible. And I'd already been thinking about charity. I opened up. Brother Gary and I wrote, I read the 13th chapter of 1 Corinthians and started my day. And when I met up with that, that dear sweet lady, <laughs> when I met up with her, oh my Lord, I found out if I had the whole armor of God on. If you, if you, if you think, I don't want you to go through what I went through, but it'll, it'll test you. Uh, when you need charity, You'll find out how much of the Lord that you do have. But the instant that she started, my mind went to charity. And I just told her, I said, ma'am, I am so sorry. And she kept on, and I said, ma'am, I'm sorry, and you don't owe me a penny for today. I am so sorry. And the Lord helped me that I didn't even get a bad feeling. Uh, not that not that I've done everything right, but, but the Lord helped me prepare for that day. Just like Mama done. She, she checked me, Brother Gwendolyn. From then on, Mom would check me. Uh, if it was a cold day outside, she made sure that I had on my socks and shoes. She made sure that I had a coat on and maybe a, a bargain on my head. She made sure that when I went out that I was prepared. And children, God, this is what the Word of God does. It helps us prepare to have on that that we need in order to stand against the wiles of the devil. And I promise you that everybody here has probably been cooped up with one another long enough that it's it's easy to get short with one another. It's easy to, to say things to the ones that you love the most. And that's the ones that hurt the most, is the ones that love you. But, please, put on that whole armor of God. If we've got that, we'll find that our charity and our love will be good towards one another. But most of all, <laughs> I just want to pass that test that the Lord sends that one day, as they, as both these ministers come up and said today, if I don't see you again, I want to meet you up in heaven. Brother Gary, you're talking about singing a song. I want to be one that gets to help sing that new song when I get there. No, 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 no. I want to go more than anything in this world. And when I go to talking about it, I can't help but get happy. A man that's right in his heart with the Lord, when you go to talking death, he goes to thinking of victory. And I want to have victory. And I thank y'all for listening to me today. And I hope something was said that out of all, all of us brothers today that will bless your hearts. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you.